done told all my friends that I'm starting a movement to get my show back, yeah, my little cartooning, taking my family back home to the ponies. Welcome or welcome back to my book channel. My name is Lady Lauren Explore, and today, if you saw the thumbnail, then you know I read Brutal Play, and I said I would never read that book ever. But I just got a notification like a day ago. Yeah, it was yesterday. Uh. And uh, I was from Allison. And she is trying to convince me to read the book. And I don't want to. But at the end of this conversation, I told her that I'll read it. And the video is coming soon. So here's the video. Brutal Play is a continuation of Broken Play. Um, Dealing with the other woman from Broken Play. She is getting her redemption story, but she's getting her redemption story with guy that I just did not want her to be with. Because Noah deserved better. <laughs> At least that's what I thought at first. Okay. So I'm gonna let you know that. I still don't like her. I, after reading this and like knowing her past, she still is not redeemable to me. I have lessened my dislike for her, but it's still a dislike. It's went from like a rage filled, I don't like, you know, I just, I want to like slap her to don't look at me. <laughs> you know, I can be cordial. I don't mean cordial. I mean, don't talk to me. <laughs> don't look at my vicinity. Stay six feet back and don't talk to me. <laughs> That's my take of her now. Because otherwise, I would have been like, I in the first book, I'd have been like, yeah, I charge on her. <laughs> but I don't like her. I know, I still don't. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. <laughs> but this is her redemption story with our guy, Noah. And <sighs> this made me change my opinion on Noah. Because he was my guy. Like, he was just there. He was what I considered like the good guy he was like what i wanted i wanted him to be with someone who i thought needed to be on his level and lore the other woman is not on his level to me but if that was his hea then more power to him and it's also a fictional book so so lore has a very horrible past she is dealing with a lot of things stemming from her childhood that also made her get into the kinks that she is in and the need for that release because that's what her and drew from the first story were doing we're like we literally start from the ending of the first book because she shows up at the uh, Super Bowl party, and she's trying to talk to Drew, and <laughs> she gets knocked out. Um, and Noah saves her and saves the day, and you know takes her in because she needs it. She has no one; she has no money. She has one suitcase, and she does not have a house or car to go back to. She's stuck. And he's willing to help her out, her being a physical therapist. That, that was like what she was before all this stuff happened to her in the past. Um, and you start you start seeing these little bits and pieces of her come out. This is told in Dora's perspective. So you get Noah in her perspective, uh, mainly hers. And in the beginning, Noah is fairly like a boy for reasons. 
um, that you kind of know in the first book. It's just that Allison made her lore so unlikable that I just can't find sympathy for her in the future, like the, this present. In the past, yes, what she went through as a child, that was horrible. I would not wish that on anyone. But in order for this to be a redemption story for me, I would need her to be redeemable. I need her to go through her trauma like Drew went through couples therapy and bettering himself and his relationship. But that's not what she did. She has this trauma and she does not get help. She doesn't seek help for it professionally because she's, it's, it obviously it's just, it's still something that she is dealing with now and it's from her past. So if she was trying to be redeemable to me, she would have gone through therapy and Noah should have helped her with this therapy as well but he didn't bring this up he just put her on this not pedestal but acknowledged what she did was wrong for her and Drew's affair and then takes advantage of her situation because she has no money um takes takes advantage of that situation and brings her back into his life and she needs that structure so she'll take it I can't be enthused about this <laughs> I can't tell you that she turned out to be okay in my eyes I gave this book a three um because I it did lessen my hate for her but then like it changed my whole perspective of the guy that I just I really was rooting for it. Changed it completely. I found him to be very manipulative and selfish. Here's a scenario. The person that helped you through a very traumatic and horrible time that made you understand yourself, who did not judge you, but got you through this period and also helped you in your relationship. He then asked you to either choose his friendship along with the person that ruined your relationship in the beginning or have no relationship with him at all. Is that manipulative? I think so. And that's what he made her do. Choose me or me or, and have the woman that your husband had an affair with for years be with me at places that you want me to be at. Or don't have me at all and lose that that saving grace presence that I had in your life, that friendship that we bonded over, that, that the, just the person that helps you through something, like that's, that's completely different than just having like a regular friend. Having a friend who went through and helped you be the person that you are now, who is, who helps you see yourself in a different light, choose that to go away no that's so selfish and you get like i don't know like in his in, in his point he says that if you can if you can forgive drew then you should forgive lore it's like misogynistic if you don't but that's like the thing I know Drew. I don't know Lore. You won't tell me her past so I could understand. Like, I don't, I don't know this girl. 
I know her because she had an affair for years with my husband. And you want me to just be content with her being in your life, which means being in my life on a regular basis because we are such good friends now? How selfish is that? And in his tune, again, he's like, he doesn't want to be without his family. Okay, well, then that should be your choice. And you shouldn't be friends with her. So basically, he wanted his cake and ice cream, his cake being his family, the two most important people in his life, his love life, his immediate family, and his ice cream, which is Drew's wife who is basically like his emotional best friend, like his work wife, his very intimate friend. But he wanted her to choose, but he didn't want to choose. Like, that just didn't make sense to me. Like, I did not get that. Um, After that scene, I was like on the fence with him a lot, but after that scene, I was just like, no, is not appealing to me anymore. Having her be the bigger person again is a lot to ask of your friend to have the woman who was having relations with her husband and to play it cool is just no no he got ridden off for me like that i just could not not at all and it made me like realize that i should not have read this book because i didn't want to have these feelings for noah like this i wanted to keep the same feelings that i had for him being to noah I can't look at him the same anymore. It just, (laughs) it was just too much. And I know this is fictional, obviously. So like, why do I, like, why am I like harping on this? But it's because like you get invested with this. And when a character's arc turns to something that you just don't get with, it like hurts, it crushes me, it crushed me that he like flipped in my mind. Like I I now don't like him. Like I'm indifferent to him now. And I bet if I go back and read Broken Play, I'm then going to overanalyze everything he's saying to, (laughs) I'm just going to overanalyze everything because I know now who he ends up with and how he manipulated the situation to have his cake and eat it too. Like, I just don't understand. And for him to be on like this, this lording over Drew for what he did, when he is basically being an a-hole the whole entire time, he's being selfish. Um, oh, it's just, oh, oh my gosh, I'm rambling. <laughs> I think if you want to read this book, you will either go one or two ways. You'll either find this book very great and find Lore to be redeemable are you what but then you'll give it like a very negative review like that's like how opposite like i don't think there's any in between because i though i found the story to be very good as a story overall because that's why i still gave it a three um i found that like my feelings for the characters changed so much and when i mean change so much i mean no like no i just like he was like the thing that I was rooting for in this. Like I was wanting him to be the knight in shining armor that he was in the first book, and he just wasn't. 
That's very sad for me. <laughs> I hope I made sense because, like, I'm now sitting here. I'm like, I don't know if you know how disappointed I am. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm making the sense, like, in my mind of why this book destroyed me when it comes to Noah. But yeah, okay, yeah. That's it. Like, I just, I can't do this. For me, again, it's a three. I do hope we get a third book with the couple that we want to be together because you see them in both books. And I just want them to be together. I just need him to move to New Orleans. Both. But yeah. Um, my name is Lady Lauren Explored. I post a video Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes Sunday. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see more of moi. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>